In the name of the Father, and the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. And with your spirit. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat and welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Sa mga nakikisa po sa kanilang mga bahay through live stream, magandang umaga din po sa inyong lahat. My dear friends, the Gospel today, the last Sunday before Ascension, is part of Jesus' farewell discourse. Jesus tells his disciples to get out of their isolation, to go forth and bear fruit. In this Eucharist, we celebrate the mystery of Christ's love because God has loved us first and has sent his Son. May we remain in that love and love others in return. Brothers and sisters, we first acknowledge our sins, our shortcomings, our infidelities, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord, for we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy, and grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord of mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ of mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Glory to God in the highest. Let us pray. Grant, Almighty God, that we may celebrate with heartfelt devotion these days of joy, which we keep in honor of the risen Lord, and that what we relieve in remembrance we may always hold to in what we do. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. The descent of the Holy Spirit on the pagan Cornelius and his family reveals to Peter that God's love embraces even the Gentiles. True faith in God challenges us to go beyond our blood ties and narrow convictions and reach out to others. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When Peter entered, Cornelius met him, and falling at his feet, paid him homage. Peter, however, raised him up, saying, Get up, I myself am also a human being. 
Then Peter proceeded to speak and said, In truth, I see that God shows no partiality. Rather, in every nation, whoever fears him and acts uprightly is acceptable to him. While Peter was still speaking these things, the Holy Spirit fell upon all who were listening to the word. The circumcised believers who had accompanied Peter were astounded that the gift of the Holy Spirit should have been poured out on the Gentiles also, for they could hear them speaking in tongues and glorifying God. Then Peter responded, Can anyone withhold the water for baptizing these people who have received the Holy Spirit even as we have? He ordered them to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. The Lord has made his salvation known in the sight of the nations. He has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness toward the house of Israel. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song, sing praise. The Lord has revealed to the nations His saving power. Christian, Christian love conquers selfishness, hatred, and prejudice because that love flows not from the human heart alone, but from the heart of God who was first love us. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, let us love one another, because love is of God. Everyone who loves is begotten by God and knows God. Whoever is without love does not know God, for God is love. In this way, the love of God was revealed to us. God sent His only Son into the world so that we might have life through Him. And this is love, not that we have loved God, but that He loved us and sent His Son as expiation for our sins. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. Whoever loves me will keep my word, says the Lord, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. 
Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy may be in you and your joy may be complete. This is my commandment, love one another as I love you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I no longer call you slaves because a slave does not know what his master is doing. I have called you friends because I have told you everything I have heard from my father. It was not you who chose me, but I who chose you. And I appointed you to go and bear fruit that will remain, so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give you. This I command you, love one another. My dear friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Question. Paano ka ba na pa oo ng mahal mo sa buhay? Ikaw ba ay uh, did that person shower you with gift? Regalo. Bigay. And because of that, you appreciated the gift. Mahal ako. O kaya mga nasa sinaunang panahon pa, pinag-igib ka ba? Pinag-ano ka ba ng firewood? O kaya naman yung mga kapanahunan noong 90s, o, eh, sabi ng eraser head, pinagsulat ka ba ng thesis? Paano ka ba napa-oo? Hindi na, nag-isipan nyo? Or was that person there, nung panahon na kailangan-kailangan mo. You needed somebody to cry on or simply just to listen to you. Andun siya. Ano ka ba napa po? Alam niyo po, merong isang aklat. Ang title ng aklat ay The Five Language, Love Language. At sinasabi doon sa aklat na yon na Bawat isa daw po na sa atin, although we appreciate expressions of love at iba't ibang expression ng pag-ibig, meron tayong isa talaga na can touch us, can communicate to us, that we really appreciate when a certain person would do it, as sabi natin, mahal tayo nun. And according to that, na to that book, uh, yung isa daw ay quality time. No? Kapag uh, the person spends quality time with you, wala lang. No? Andun lang. Kung may pangangailangan ka, andun siya. Wala naman, andun pa rin siya. No? Quality time. You are there and that person spends time with you. Meron naman mga tao that appreciates yung mga words of affirmation. Uh, kapag uh, nako-compliment ka, pag may ginawa ka, uy, ang sarap ng luto mo. Ayan. O yan, linis ng damit. No? Linis ng bahay. No? O yung sipag naman. No? Yung words of affirmation na yon rings closely to you. Uy, mahal ako. No? O meron naman, mga tao na kailangan kapag naglalakad kayo, lagi mong kahawak, holding hands while walking. Touchy, no? physical. No? May mga ganoon na na-appreciate. Yung ganoong way of expressing yung pag-ibig. Pero naman, kahit na hindi nagsasalita, pero nakikita. Yun na nga. No? Araw-araw, pinagluluto ka. Araw-araw, may ginagawang pinag- linilinis yung bahay. 
quincenas at trenta, gi-entrega ng ano, acts of service. Konkreto, doesn't even need words. But that person, kapag ka ginawa yun, alam mo na act of love yun. Meron mga tao na would love to receive gifts. Yun yung kanilang love language. Hindi kailangan malaki, hindi kailangan magarbo. Bulaklak, hindi kailangan rose kahit kalachuchi. Naalala, oh. nagbigay kahit ano, pansit man lang. Hope ya, yeah. napadaan. Meron kanya-kanyang love. Bakit, bakit ba ito yung simula natin? Sapagkat kapag ka pinakinggan mo yung mga pagbasa natin, lalong-lalo na yung ating ibanghelyo, uh, it started with, uh, it speaks so clearly about pag-ibig. Sabi nga po ng introduction po natin, we are in the last part of God's pamamaalam. Of Jesus pamamaalam. Next Sunday, we will be celebrating Ascension. Ang tawag nga dito ay Farewell Discourse. Ibig sabihin lang, inihahanda ng ating Panginoon yung kanyang mga disipulo sa kanyang pag-alis. Sapagkat alam naman niya, minsan yung tao ay eh, out of sight, out of mind. Eh, iiwanan naman niya physically man lang yung mga tao. So, inihahanda niya. And then the Lord, no, in our gospel, is telling us that there is no other way, walang ibang paraan, walang ibang daan at paraan upang manatili sa, kanyang pag- sa kanya. At sa paano yun? Pag-ibig. Yun lang. Kaya kapag ka tiningnan mo po yung mga pagbasa natin sa araw na ito, Mahigit sa bente yung salitang pag-ibig na mention o kaya alluded to. Simula. We are talking about this sapagkat walang ibang dahilan at walang ibang paraan kung paano manatili sa kanyang pag-ibig. Sa kanya, sa kanyang pag-ibig, kundi sa pag-ibig rin. Una, ang ating ebanghelyo ay mas malalim kisa doon sa five love language sapagkat muli-muli pinapaalala sa atin ang ating katayuan. Minahal ka muna. Kaya may kakayahang magmahal eh. Kaya minahal. Kaya lang, madaling makalimutan eh. Ayan. Yung mga may asawa dito. Adalas kapag ka tumatagal na, no? nagkakalimutan na. Kaya nga dito sa simbahan, laging pinapaalala yun. Hindi nawawala ng krus. Ayun. And what is that for? It is always a reminder na hindi ka cheap. Mahal eh. I took the life of the Lord expressed in His death and not only in His death but also in His resurrection. Kompleto yun. He did not simply die for us, He rose for us. That is why, whenever you go to church, always look for the cross with the Christ in it because it reminds us of the very fundamental aspect of love. Mahal ka. Minahal ka. Now and forever. Kaya may kakaya ng magmahal, kasi minahal ka. Kaya nga, di ba, yung ikalawang pagbasa, it began, begins with the word, beloved. Hmm? Ayan tawag sa atin. Ayan sa ano sa Pilipino? Mahal. Oh. Eh, kaya kadalas, kaya lang kadalasan kapag may mga pinagdadaan, mahal ba talaga? Kaya pagka pupunta ka sa simbahan, hahanapin mo yung krus para makaalala kung gaano kakatinding minahal. Kaya yung mga pumupunta sa simbahan na para makalimot ng pinagdadaan ng problema, eh wala ho kayo sa tamang lugar. Eh dito hindi makalimot, kundi makaalala. Mahal eh. Ah, 
ganyan. Minahal. Kaya kaya nating magmahal. Mangalawa, yung pag-ibig ng Diyos na ito ay quality time. We have a God who is present, not absent. Kaya nga, di ba kapag kapasko, pinagda, uh, ang ating pinagdiriwang ay Emmanuel, God with us. Pinakamatingkad na lingwahin ng Diyos at pag-ibig ay presensya. Mahirap ang laging absent. At naman tayo dito siguro ay nakatuntong man lang ng grade 1, grade 2, nakapag-aral. Mga teacher din po kami. Minsan ho, hindi naman lahat sa mga studyante eh, napakahuhusay kaagad. Kaya lang minsan, hahanapin mo na lang eh. At hindi mo magawang ibagsak eh kasi laging present eh. May effort. Pagpasok na lang may effort eh. Pag nakita mo yung ganong effort, no, present kasi. Kaya nga sabi ng, sabi ng lolo namin, eh, lahat tayo pasang awa. Kasi kadalasan presence lang. Eh yun naman talaga yung unang ano ng Panginoon, present. Present ako. Quality time. Ganon din ang pag-ibig, walang proxy. Kaya nga yung sabi niya, mahal ko kayo. Hindi proxy. Hmm, andyan, sa krus. Laging present at may effort. Pangatlo, o napakinggan nyo na maigi yung unang pagbasa, yung kwento ni Cornelius. Si Cornelius po ay ang kauna-unahang, ayun sa nabasa ko, ay kauna-unahang krisyano na hindi hudyo. Eh, during that time, it's a no-no. Bigama Christian na hindi hudyo. Kaya nga yung pag-ibig ay inclusive. Ito may lengguahe yung mga millennial dito eh. Sana all. E magmula pa naman noon, ang pag-ibig ng Diyos ay inclusive. Kaya manapapanood nyo yung tawag nito. E paano nag hindi nagiging inclusive? Kapag ka-judgmental. Hindi pwede yan. Masama yan. But if you allow the love of God to be present, it, is, it includes. Walang ini-exclude. Lahat binibigyan ng pag-asa. Lahat ang binibigyan ng paraan. Inclusive eh. At isa pa, ang pag-ibig ng Diyos is a love that looks after our good. And ito fair weather, God. Saka hindi lang ito yung affirmation lang. Sometimes kinakastigo din tayo, di ba? No? Ang tatawag nga natin doon ay kastigo de Diyos. Tough love, but still love. I remember one time, dumalo po ako sa isang, uh, nag-celebrate ako ng isang ano, funeral mass. At nung nagpapasalamat na ho, no? yung kapatid nung namatay, eh, Uh, durugista po kasi, drag. You know? At he revealed na siya at some point, yung kapatid na yon ang minsan ang tumatawag na ng pulis. And he told that it was something that is very painful na siya mismo yung tumatawag. And he said, it's tough love. Yung mga nanay dito, alam yung tough love eh. Kapag kinakastigo ninyo yung mga anak ninyo. Pagkatapos sa inyong kastiguin, tatawagin ninyo. Anak, alam mo ba kung bakit ko ginagawa yun? Dahil mahal kita. Eh kahit naman noon, di ba? Yung gamot na nga lang, eh, alam mo ko yung lasa ng gamot dati, no? Mapait. Ngayon, wala ka na makuha ang gamot na mapait. Lahat na lasang orange. Kasi ayaw nang inumin ng mga bata. But before, alam namin kapag kagamot yan, lasang gamot. Napait eh. And something good because it tells us that punishment, penalty, ay hindi nakakatuwa. But it's for our own good. Ay ganun yung Diyos natin eh. Kinukonsinti, kinukonsinsi, pero, pero pagka 
Mm. Hulog ka rito sa kamay. At isa pa yung pag-ibig ng Diyos ay may forever. Marami na dito na saktan. Pero ang pag-ibig ng Diyos ay may forever. Kaya nga, yung nasa huli ng Ibanghelyo, how do we remain in His love? Yun yung sabi niya, no? how do you remain in His love? Walang iba. Yung huling pananalita sa Ibanghelyo, kundi love one another. The only way for us to remain in the love of God if we continue to love each other, no matter what. My dear friends, we are living in a very challenging times na sino china-challenge pati yung kakayanan nating magmahal, magbigay, magpatawad, magparaya. Lahat yun ay mukha ng pag-ibig ng Diyos. Walang ibang paraan. Sa mga nakakalimot, I invite you again to look at the cross. Because it is the most concrete, living reminder, mahal tayo ng Diyos. And the gospel is asking us to do the same. Love one another. Kindly all stand. All together, I believe in God, the Father, the Father Almighty, Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there, He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray to the Father that we may live the love we profess and celebrate so that we may be known as the disciple of Christ and that His joy may be ours. Let us humbly call upon Him, saying, Lord, listen to our prayer. Lord, listen to our prayer. For the church and civil authorities, may the Lord fill them with a strong and unselfish love that they may pursue justice and peace for all. We pray. Lord, listen to our prayer. For the members of the family and community who are at odds with each other, may they learn to forgive understand and reconcile with one another we pray lord for those who suffer pain illness or disease may the lord restore their health and turn the anxiety of their families into joy we pray lord listen to our prayer for our beloved dead May they delight in the joy of the heavenly kingdom, in the company of angels and saints, we pray. Lord, listen to our prayer. Let us pray to the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Lord, listen to our prayer. We pray in a very special way for all the devotees of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag for their well-being, for their health and safety, we pray to the Lord. Lord, listen to our prayer. We continue to pray for our frontliners, for our health workers, for our government leaders and the leaders of the church, that the Lord may continue to imbue in them the sense of love, that love that allows them to help and to extend their help to other people, we pray to the Lord. Lord, listen to our prayer. Lord God, Jesus' Son commanded us to love one another and showed us a marvelous example in, this, in His own life. May we grow in love so that we may be worthy of being called your children 
through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that, purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We we'll lift them up to the Let Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. By the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifices of old to fulfillment in the reality of the cross, and by commending himself to you for our salvation, showed himself the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May call it therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take these, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take these, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many. 
for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partake on the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Archbishop, Fidelis, our Auxiliary Bishop, Gerard, the Master of the Order of Preachers, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. 
For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I live you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant their peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer to one another the sign of Christ's peace. Peace be with you. Please kneel. My dear friends, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Please stand.
Let us pray. Almighty ever living God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Paschal Sacrament and pour into our hearts the strength of the saving food through Christ our Lord. Amen. We shall now pray the Horatio Imperata for vocations in the Archdiocese of Lingayen, Dagupan. Let us turn to Mary, help of Christians, for the increase of priestly vocations in the church in Lingayen, Dagupan. Let us answer together, grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. You accompanied your son on his way to Calvary. Walk with our seminarians in their journey of priestly formation, Mary, help of Christians. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. You are the mother of the Good Shepherd. Inspire our youth to follow the voice of your son and courageously answer his call to be shepherds. Mary, help of Christians. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. You were with the apostles in prayer on Pentecost Day. Stay with us in prayer so that the fire of the Spirit may descend on our young men seeking their vocation in life. Mary, help of Christians. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. Your Son entrusted to you the beloved disciple at the foot of the cross. Take into your immaculate heart our young men who are reluctant to answer the call to be priests. Mary, help of Christians. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. Let us pray, Mary, help of Christians, we place all uh, your, our young men under your motherly protection. Inspire them to serve the church as priests of your son. Take under your motherly care our seminarians being formed for the priesthood. Accompany with your help your priest sons as they follow your son Please, Lord, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Before I give the final blessings, two things. Una po, maraming salamat sa pagdalaw po ninyo sa Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag at sa pakikiisa ninyo sa banal na misa. At pangalawa, sa araw po na ito, pinagdiriwang din po yung Mother's Day. So sa lahat po ng nanay dito ay Happy Mother's Day po sa inyong lahat. Maraming maraming salamat sa lahat ng inyong sakripisyo sa buhay. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May God, who by the resurrection of His only begotten Son was pleased to confer on you the gift of redemption and of adoption, give your gladness by His blessing. Amen. May He, by whose redeeming work you have received the gift of everlasting freedom, make you heirs to an eternal inheritance. Amen. And may you who have already risen with Christ in baptism through Him, through faith, by living in a right manner on this earth, be united with Him in the homeland of heaven. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. The Mass ascended. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord through one another. Thanks be to God. We shall now say the prayer for the blessing ng mga may sakit. At uh, after that, we bless your religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters, feed them from all illness, and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may your religious articles be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.